Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue talking about searching within a document library. Previously, I just typed in something in here, and for example, I searched for green, and then you find all the documents that contain the word green. However, as you see, I have the projects, which has some green projects in it. I also have the all US released movies, which is a text file. It's also an interesting point that SharePoint does search within all kinds of documents, not just Office documents, but PDF files. It's very good at PDF files, but also text documents, of course, and lots of others. If I want to search for specifically the word Screen Mile, which is a good movie, you'll see that it's here in US all released movies, but it's also in the project. So there's probably the word mile is used there. But if I do this, just put the Green Mile in citation marks like that, you'll notice that I only get the all US released movies. So you've probably used that on Google already, and it's just good to know that SharePoint does support this syntax also. Another very important syntax is the managed property search. I've shown you file name, but there's also file type. So if I search for file type XLSX, I'll get all the Excel files, which is a powerful thing to know also. And of course it works the same for any file type here. So if I do docx instead, I get all the document files. So what I'm doing here is typing in a managed property and the value I'm searching for. These managed properties, there's a whole bunch of those. I'm going to go in here under site settings and here's the schema. That's how that's defined. Here you see I have a total of 685 of those. You can browse through those. You can also search, of course, searching is a good way to find information in general. So I'm going to do file here, and as you see, I have the file type, I have the file name, lots of other file properties here. So that's a good way to find your managed properties. Sometimes these are editable also, so you can change how they work. So if I go into file name, you'll notice that there are a lot of options that you can edit here, but most of them are grayed out, you can't really change anything. Some of these are changeable on the tenancy level, but you can view them under the site collection also. Most of the built-in ones are locked down in Office 365, so you don't really have all that much control of it. But it's good to know that these managed properties are here and how to use them. Thank you for watching this demonstration.